All right, hello everyone. It's Chira Bro back with you another video, and today what we're gonna be talking about is, as you can see, I have highlighted one word, and it says goals in here. Now, with goals, well, you'll be able to track your own goals. And if you're actually on your uh, premium license, you will get the access to this beta version and when you go to your administration of your uh, organization when you go to settings and when you select the platform experiences you're gonna have the option for sign up now you want to click on this now you're gonna get the option also to choose your site so I'm gonna be choosing this one now what it says in here the platform experiences that not they are now in beta include goals and projects which help you to share updates on your work and the outcomes they're working toward. With early access you can try goals, projects and other new upcoming features. This is actually pretty great. So um, let, us, let us select our eligible sites. I'm gonna go and click on next and as it says in here that basically this is in beta and it says these features do not currently support uh, currently have the support permissions for example anyone in your site can view edit or create goals so we're talking about the goals here and I'm gonna say start the early access but before that I need to check this box and we are actually done with this we're gonna have our site that is actually ready and now we're gonna explore our goals here. All right, so it says, thank you for trying goals in early access. It says here that you can use the projects to track various pieces of work that help accomplish your goals. You may also get more early access features as we, as we get closer to the full release. That is actually pretty great. Now we have is to create a goal now what I what we have here is like we can when we can actually pick the date which is actually the milestone and it could be like what should we call this let me say what should we call this um what goal is here um uh, let's say reach more audience all right what date are we targeting well let's say let's see July I'm gonna click on create all right this is what we get here now we have our created goals in here we also have the projects now the thing is, what we actually see from here, uh, uh, this is going to be something very different. Why? Because you don't see the Jira logo here, you see the Atlassian logo here. That is because this is actually using the product named Atlas. So you probably have seen Atlas um, uh, when you go to home.atlassian.com and where you're given the options to actually choose between the products that you actually want to use. Of course, that can be actually done for this navigation right here, but Atlas is also appearing when you go to your home. Now, what do we have in here? So there are plenty of uh, mini features that are actually within this goal. So what we can actually do is we can add the followers of this goal so we can we can click on this and what does it say say it says that I can edit this goal so if I want I can actually edit this now let me see if I can all right so yeah it's a it's a different one it's of course a different uh, different account but let me use let me use this one all right, I'll get back to you guys. So 
one thing that you actually need to know guys is when you try to add the follower make sure that you actually have some well, people added to your organization otherwise well of course you won't be able to do this but I know that all of you are actually having your your organization with with users so yes so this is the place where you actually add your goals that is um, that is an important thing we also have like this parent goal that we can actually add and we can create a new goal in here and we can say let's say YouTube and then I'm gonna say when we are actually reaching this I'm gonna say let's say August and for the parent goal now what I have in here this is this as the YouTube now what I can do is I can open a preview here and now with this preview I can see that I have like a child goal this is more like uh, more like when you have a task and when you have a subtask within it this is almost the same now it says here update there are no updates which is correct nothing was actually changed and that is how it actually works with a parent goal now you also have the option to add the sub goals so this is more when you're having let's say when you have an epic when you have a story and when you have let's say subtasks this is almost identical so if we want we can actually go and we can add some sub goals there is also an option for you to add the teams and also we can go for tags and I can go for tags and I can say let's say video and since there is no option for this I don't have any tags that are named like this I can create a new video tag now this is uh, this is almost the same like when you're adding labels and when you don't have a label that is already defined uh, Jira is gonna prompt you and ask you well do you want to create a new label and it can say yes or you don't want to create it and also there is an option to actually add your start date if you want to do this in in this particular case I'm not gonna be adding the uh, start date now you can actually share this you can archive the goal you can copy it as well you can copy the link to this goal you can share it so if you can actually click on share so now what does it say everyone with workspace access can see this goal so if uh, your followers do not see uh, this goal within their workspace well uh, they won't be able to see this goal now there is also an option if I want I can go with the description I can edit it and I can write down uh, about my goal I believe that this uh, this will be filled out uh, by you guys now uh, there is also an option that we have let's say um, similar to the uh, statuses like you have in Jira when you have like to do in progress in done uh, workflow and those are their statuses and this is like uh, the transitioning between the uh, between the statuses of a uh, of a goal. Let's say this is basically like on track, and I can say if um, there is also an option where I can choose one of the uh, templates. I can say like uh, milestone progress, and I can pose this. Now this is how it's gonna look like. So it's gonna be like. Um, saying this is on track for July and these are the things that were actually being changed and this is what actually happened so you can see the whole let's say summary and also the transition that was actually done so this is actually pretty cool because you can see like the uh, transition right away and what what were actually the milestones to reach this goal so that's pretty good 
You also have, of course, your uh, followers can actually uh, comment on this if they want. They can also react as well. Uh, I have reacted like this. I can add more emojis if I want. And now, this is a, also an interesting thing where you can track your goals progress with the relevant projects now now if I go to create a new project now what we can actually do is we can start with the Jira epic that's one option and there is actually another option where you're creating your project and this is creating your project not, not within the Jira this is actually creating the project within the Atlas product now what we have is projects are very good to share and read weekly status updates on large streams work Jira epics and projects are more similar in scope and should be linked together to keep the work and, and updates in sync so we can do this we can uh, I'm gonna say you know what I can go start with epics but the thing is I don't have any epics created so I'm gonna go with a project and I'm going to name it goals for example I'm going to create it and this is what we have and I go for the projects and this is this is what we will get so there are of course uh, there is a uh, now a different thing within the uh, within within uh, your goals project where you actually have these three default uh, headers that you can edit you also have the option for the updates and as you can see it is presented more of a uh, roadmap with its um, accomplishments or it's for learnings if you want to add some of the learnings which is basically almost like the uh, knowledge base in Confluence uh, you can add new risks if you want uh, for your stakeholders that have no surprises if the worst happens during the project and of course if you want to have some of the uh, decisions but let's keep uh, let's be let's keep focused on the goals so now for the projects what we actually do it says contributing projects from sub goals and what does it say uh, these are the sub goals but as you can see from here from the uh, when we actually expand this we can see that this is actually being associated with one of the projects which is actually pretty great and also you can associate this with more of the project. It doesn't have to be one. It could be more projects than one, which is actually pretty nice. Now, what you also can do is to track your goals progress by linking the um, Jira work. Now, it asked me to link my Jira work. Let me go here. All right, let me see. Okay, I don't have really anything here. Um, let's see. Planning, IT support, planning. Let's go with planning. All right, so we have this, and it's it's asking for the Jira URL. Try the wrong URL. Try pasting a new Jira link. Okay. Let's go with this one. No. Okay. Copy link to issue. All right. Class sim home for Jira Cloud app is not installed on this Jira instance. Okay, so we're gonna do this. I log in to see. All right, I'm also gonna do this. So we need to install the application in order for us. So 
It's called Atlassian Home for Geo Cloud. So you guys are actually aware because probably you're going to be using your goals with your Jira issues. Now, let's do some of the configuration here. And I'm going to say, let's go to Atlassian Home now. Okay. Now, I'm going to add only Jira issues at an epic level or above can be linked to a goal. Okay, interesting. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go here. It only has one, which is actually initiative, which is okay, because this was created for the top level planning. All right, let me just quickly create a project here. Let's go here. Let's go here, I'm going to name it test, because of course it's for the testing purposes, I'm going to create an issue, it's going to be an epic, and I'm going to say epic, alright, it's created, we go here to copy link issue. All right, there we go. So now what we have is contributing Jira issues. And now what we have, we have the Epic. Nice. This is actually pretty, pretty great. Understand how your work contributes to the shared goals. All right, so if there's some goal updates, we can actually go here. And what we have is what we actually worked on, which is actually pretty great. But the thing is, uh, you the thing is that we actually set this up, and that is actually linked to this epic right here. So only from epic and above, because you can have from the issue hierarchy when you set it up you can have an issue type that is higher than an epic if you actually want to do that. If your business is working on a different way, sure, you can add it, of course. Uh, there is also an option to add new learning. I'm going to leave this to you guys. And I'm going to leave this free for you guys to explore, uh, to go ahead and see how it works for you. And yes, uh, that is all for today's video. I will guys see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See ya. Bye-bye.